Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. If you remember seeing that intro at some point in your life, then you've probably watched a KYR Speedy video. With 6 million subscribers on his main channel and 2 million on his second, he was once a force of nature in the YouTube comedy gaming world. His first video was uploaded on July 9th, 2010. From trolling Xbox Live lobbies to Call of Duty funny montages, his rise was monumental, but his channel transcended to a whole new level when GTA 5 was released. No! Whoa! What? What the now, hell? in 2023, his main channel, with 6 million subscribers, is essentially dead. He still uploads twice a day on his second channel, but only manages to get about 40,000 views per video. It's a small fraction compared to the 1 million plus he was getting on each video back in 2013 which in that era was a lot. So what happened? To set the stage, Lucas Speed Watson is 31 years old and primarily streams gaming content on Twitch nowadays. His online name of KYR Speedy was derived from Speed, his middle name and nickname, and KYR, which stands for Know Your Rank. He didn't show his face until he hit 1 million subscribers. Hello everybody, KYR Speedy here, and this is what I look like. For a couple years, he dated actress Sammy Hanratty, who made appearances in some of his videos They would eventually go on to split up. Speedy was part of a popular online gaming group called The Crew, which consisted of these eight people. Speedy, who's the primary focus of this video. Sidearms, who still streams on Twitch and uploads YouTube gaming videos to this day. Joel, aka Nobody Epic, now a married father of two, his priorities are clearly outside of YouTube. Jehovah's Witness, known as Hova, still uploads content, mainly IRL videos. Deluxe 4 is unfortunately a textbook example of a dead channel. His brother, Deluxe20, hasn't uploaded in a year. Shadow Beats, once a music creator, still streams and plays games with Speedy occasionally. And lastly, G18, who still games and uploads, but pretty much puts the minimum effort into his YouTube channel. This group was once wildly popular. Mr. Beast was a fan of the crew. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about KYR Speedy. And even David Dobrik watched them growing up. I used to watch um, KYR Speedy so much. Like, like all of those guys. I, like, sidearm for reason. Oh, so when we first started playing COD, we all made names on PlayStation, like KYR Speedy. And we copied all their names, and we pretended we were like a clan on Call of Duty. It was really fun, but embarrassing. But sadly, they're a great example of what could have been. Not many people know this, but without the crew, the Sidemen may not exist. The crew was the inspiration for KSI and others forming an official group. Who started the Sidemen? Do you know like Speedy and them? Like, all right, so uh, those YouTubers, I forgot what their group is called, but they had like a little group and we were like, oh yeah, we should just do something similar. They were even referred to as the UK crew at one point, but when KSI began blowing up, they evolved from just gaming. They even collabed back in 2014. And it was clear that these two groups shared a sense of humor and style of gaming. Hey, uh, Officer Speedy, we got a super shady motherfucker over here on our... You see this guy over here? Yeah, I see that. Should probably check him out, man. Yo, yeah. man! Is it because I'm black? Yo, uh, Dad! That's it's racist! It's because of those bodies next to you, actually. Yeah, it's more because of that, yeah, because of the dead people. Like, uh... Ah, oh, well, actually, that makes a lot more sense. Their influence touched a lot of people. This is why everyone should respect the crew. They inspired everyone's favorite YouTubers. It's honestly insane how many people point to the crew as either their inspiration or at least as people they watched back in the day. While well, the crew is just kind of chilling, doing their own thing. The crew would have stuck with it and done more IRL content. They could have continued their rise to a whole new level. Following factors led to their division and downfall. Guys getting older and spending less time gaming and making videos. Some guys not wanting to do a face reveal, which in turn means they couldn't be in any IRL content. This last point is important. Their personalities through gaming were already well liked. To advance their careers, they could have gotten outside of their comfort zone and done exactly what the Sidemen did. In fact, they chose the name the Sidemen because it refers to people who copy a leader. In their case, KSI was that leader who had nearly 4 million subscribers at the time of their creation. This exact same hierarchy applied to the crew. Speedy was the biggest one of the group, similar to KSI. Vanoss and his group of friends are another example of a very similar gaming group who blew up. The crew did do some IRL content once they were all past their apexes. This is becoming quite the obstruction here, Joel, as I cannot get my proper footing. And many people enjoyed that type of content. 
they never really committed to it and came up with creative content in that style. Speedy was the unofficial leader of the crew, and even though he could still be considered a successful YouTuber today, to understand his downfall specifically, we need to identify why his videos got so many views all those years ago. And the answer comes down to his personality and editing. His quick 45 minute funny montage videos of he and his friends playing GTA or Call of Duty were extremely popular. But as the popularity of those games faded, so did the montages. Eventually he would reach a point where he would simply upload the Twitch stream in its entirety, occasionally doing some minor editing. So in summary, he decided to take a quantity over quality approach. In Speedy's mind, uploading two videos per day that each got 50,000 views is easier and more convenient than spending three days editing a montage video to get 200,000 views. It seems to be working because he lives in the Hollywood Hills in this house. So what can we learn from Speedy's rise and fall story? Well, he seems content doing what he loves every day, which is gaming with his friends. Granted, it's now a group of friends that is different from the original crew. He doesn't have nearly the same following as he once did, but he makes enough to support his lifestyle. Even though he didn't take full advantage of his rise and capitalize on the situation as best as he could have, that might be okay with him. He does still have a loyal, albeit much smaller, fanbase. And when the earning numbers of Twitch streamers was leaked in 2022, Speedy was number 76 overall, taking home just over a million dollars. That, in addition to his merch and YouTube earnings, means he is still well off financially. The crew is a piece of YouTube history that brings nostalgia to many people. Oh my god! But for his viewers, we can't help but wonder just how big and influential the crew could have gotten if they really committed and gave it their all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.